The options bar is the toolbar that runs along the top of Photoshop. However, the option bar changes depending completely upon which tool you have selected. So for example, it looks this way with the move tool. However, if I change it to rectangle, it changes the toolbar itself, as well as this, 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 and this. Basically, it's going to go and change every single time I click a different tool. So we can't talk about any of the individual tools right now. We simply have to address them at a later point in time when we talk about each individual tool. So there really isn't much to talk about this toolbar except for the fact that I have this little dotted line here again that I can click on and pull it away. And now it's an individual loose toolbar, just like the rest of the palettes. The difference here is that I can't actually make this thing smaller. This, this is it. It's absolutely huge. It runs off my screen and I can't grab the ends of it and make it smaller. It's a very stubborn toolbar. I can't even come down here and bring it and dock it to the bottom of the screen. It just won't do it. The only place that I can put it is actually up here at the top where it originally came from. You can't just put it up here and hope for the best. You actually have to line it up so that you get the blue line again and then let go and then it will redock itself to the top. By and large, the lesson here is that the options bar runs along the top of the screen. Don't move it, just leave it alone.